Hey guys, um, this is a new acquisition in my garage. Um, went and picked this up yesterday from a guy in Georgia. And so what this is a Bailey PL1022 VS lathe. Um, it's kind of a bench top jobber. It's kind of on the big end of a bench top. Uh, I found this from a guy that um, basically what happened is his dad bought it. And then before he put it together, he wanted to pass it away. I mean, he didn't even take it out of the box. So it's still an original crate. And so I found it on uh, Facebook Marketplace. And um, I mean, it's brand new. It's never been uh, out of the shipping container. It's still got Cosmoline all over it. And um, anyway, I just got in last night and I threw it up on this bench. I need to build a table for it and um, get it cleaned up here in a minute and try to get it so that it's um, ready to run. So the bummer is it didn't come with a manual um, in the box. I looked on Bailey's website, they don't have the manual uh, online. I'm gonna try to call them and see if I can get it. Uh, there's a grizzly lathe that's almost exactly like this one, like some nuances of where the buttons are and stuff like that. I think the, uh, look at this corny e-stop button. So this is start and stop and the e-stop is supposed to just be an easier way of pushing the start button. Gives you directions. Anyway, um, yeah, so I looked online on the Grizzly website and I found ones very similar to it. I know a lot of these are the same model, uh, more or less, except a little bit different bells and whistles uh, in terms of fit and finish and things you could do. And so, um, anyway, I'm going to use the setup instructions from that and I think what they're telling me to do is to run it for a little while it looks like it came shipped with oil I think the grizzly one might not come shipped with oil but you're supposed to run this for a little while and then change the oil right away uh, one of the problems that I'm gonna have this is the drain plug for that it's behind these gears and everything I think I'm gonna try to put a petcock in there so that I can uh, change that oil easy without having it dump everywhere um, anyway, so I'm going to make kind of a video series on this. I'm not going to try to get like all completely nerded out about it. I really bought this, um, to kind of tide me over until I can find a bigger lathe that has the, so like some of the same features. Uh, the reason why I like this one is it threads in metric and in, um, inches. And so a lot of the South bends and some of those other kind of hobby, size lathes that you see traded a lot on Craigslist and uh, Facebook. They either do inches or metric, but not both. And a lot of them don't even thread at all. And so um, I think that was something I was interested in learning how to do. Um, I ran a lathe a long time ago, but it's been a while. And I also worked as a machinist. I say machinist, but really operator uh, for a while at a place that made um, submersible pumps and so I ran a CNC machine but it was mostly just hitting cycle start on the on the machine and then measuring making sure you hit your dimensions and stuff like that at you know after a part run so I've been kind of gradually getting into this I got that bridge port back there I've got a bunch of stuff for it I've been using it um, just on a hobby level for a while so anyway that's all I'm gonna do for this video um, I'm gonna make like short five minute videos for all, a lot of other things that I went up doing in the process of getting this thing off. I'm going to build a table for it. I've got some uh, 8020s up here that I got at an auction. I'm going to build like a nice little stand for it. And then, um, yeah, we'll get it set up. And I'm going to use it until I outgrow it and get something different. 